So you may have just went ahead and heard about Microsoft Copilot, and you might be trying to figure out exactly how you can use it. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can get access to it. You can access it via, you know, inside of Microsoft Word or Outlook, or you can just go to copilot.microsoft.com and you can go ahead and find it this way as well. Now, when you come inside of the website, it looks fairly similar to something like ChatGPT or Google Gemini. It's another AI tool by Microsoft. In the top right, this will give you the option to sign in. In this case, I am not signed in, but you can go ahead and sign in if you want to, to your Microsoft account. In the top left, you'll see two different tabs. You'll see this left tab, which will basically show you your previous conversations, conversations that you had with Copilot. So if you go right here, all the previous conversations you had will show up right here. If you click on this button right here, it will just bring you into a new chat. So you can go through and you can open up a new chat just like this window right here. This drop down menu right here allows you to create a new conversation and create a new page. And like I said, this page just shows you all your previous conversations and you can sign in by clicking the sign in button. You can also hide this by clicking that button right up there. Now this is your main dialog box. If you take a look at this right here, this is your messaging box. So you can type in whatever you want to in this particular box and you can ask Copilot questions right here. You can also change how the model is basically determined. So you can change it from being you know, a quick response, two to three seconds, to a deep thinker. So basically, if you're asking it really complex questions or you're wanting it to do a little bit more research before responding back, you can ask it this one and it's gonna be specifically focused on giving you higher quality results. This plus button allows you to upload any documents if you want to, if you wanna upload a document, a file, an image, you can click there. And you can even use your voice if you want to by clicking on the voice button right here. If you wanna start off, you can start asking questions to Copilot whichever way you want to. So in this case, you can go and I can ask it, you know, what can Copilot do? I can ask it a simple question like that, and it will go ahead and start giving me some responses of kind of what Copilot can do. Now, it'll also give me some suggestions on things I can recommend to Copilot right after that. This is basically the layout of your chat. So from now on, whenever you go ahead and use Copilot, that's basically the layout. You'll ask it a question, you'll wait for its response, and you can continue to ask it more questions, or you can kind of wait if that question was just, you know, it answered everything you had. Now, whenever you get a response, you have the capability of still being in conversation. So I don't have to ask it again, what can Copilot do, what other things can Copilot do? I can just tell it to, you know, tell me more, right? It's a conversational type of thing, which is really cool. So it'll just keep going and going and going, and it'll just, it's conversational based, so it remembers everything I already told it. Now, if you like a response, if you really, really like a response, you can always thumbs up this response right here by thumbsing it up. If the response was not good, you can give it a thumbs down. If you wanna share out this message and the prompt, you can go ahead and click on the share button and copy it over and send it over. You can also copy the message right here. If you wanna copy this message and you know send it over. You can also edit the response if you want to. So that is how you use Copilot. It's a pretty quick application. There's not really anything crazy going on here. It's, uh, you know, if you use ChatGPT or Google Gemini, it's essentially the same type of application. So that's how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.